claims included, but were not limited to Brittany not being able to leave the house without his permission, not being able to spend money without his supervision, that he was able to restrict visitors and even file restraining orders against people to keep them away from Brittany. Hey guys, what's crackin'? Welcome back to my channel. So you guys probably already know this if you haven't been living under a rock, but... I've been living under a rock, so... I've been wanting to do conspiracy theories here on my channel for like... I don't know, like a few weeks? I only have like 10 videos, so it's not like it's been a while. And that's what we're doing today. But we're not just talking about any conspiracy theories. We're not talking about the basic... <coughs> DIA conspiracy theory. No, wrong. Because over the last couple of days, I have watched one conspiracy theory kind of like currently going on right in front of my eyeballs. So we're talking about the Free Britney movement. But before we get into the actual conspiracy theory Free Britney movement stuff, I have to do a bit of a disclaimer to make sure no one comes for me. So, 1998, Britney Spears released her first single, Baby Hit Me One More Time, which honestly is iconic. And just very, very quickly, Britney became like the goddess she is on the stage. Then nearly a decade later, things kind of started to get rocky in Britney's personal life. She went through kind of a messy divorce. She lost custody of her children. People were saying that she was allegedly dealing with substance abuse. And in 2007, Britney reached her tipping point and suffered a very public mental break wherein she shaved her head. So when this happened, it was 2007 and I was a little fresh little baby face, okay? Like, I don't remember my feelings on the subject, if that makes sense. But looking back now as an adult who's had struggles with my own mental health, I cannot imagine going through such a turbulent time so publicly. Then in 2008, after all of this like, BS that happened to Britney, happened to her, she is placed under a court-ordered conservatorship, which basically made her father her legal guardian, even though at the time she was like 27 years old. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Maybe that's really ignorant of me, I don't know, but like, I thought once you turned 18, you were like your own person who made your own decisions with your own lifestyle choices. This conservatorship basically gave her father, Jamie Spears, along with an attorney, the right to control her finances, her estate, and honestly, just pretty much every aspect of Britney's life. And this was with the intention to provide some stability to her mental health. So all of this stuff happened to Britney in like, 2007, 2008. So I wanna jump forward to 2009 when the Free Britney movement really got started. This is when a fan made a website or fan page called the Free Britney movement or the Free Britney campaign or maybe just hashtag Free Britney. I couldn't figure out exactly what it was called, but basically it was a website where fans could voice their concerns and make claims against Jamie Spears and what he's doing to Britney within the confines of this conservatorship. These claims included, but were not limited to Britney not being able to leave the house without his permission, not being able to spend money without his supervision, that he was able to restrict visitors and even file restraining orders against people to keep them away from Britney, and he made every single financial, medical, and business decision for her. And to further that point even more, I just want to dissect the whole, like, conservatorship in and of itself. It's been 12 years since that conservatorship was court-ordered against Britney, and in that 12-year period, she's headlined four tours, held residency in Vegas, became a judge on The X Factor, and I'm pretty sure she was even on How I Met Your Mother, so like, She's been pretty successful in my book, and yet she's still under this conservatorship where her father is her legal guardian, even though she's a 38-year-old woman who can do all of these things. So flash forward to 2020, when everything is kind of resurfacing due to some videos that Britney is posting on her social media accounts, specifically TikTok and Instagram. So the first video Britney posted was on her TikTok account in late May. In the TikTok, Britney was seen spinning around in a strange way, which as many fans pointed out, is pretty unlike the rest of her content that she's been posting to TikTok. Also, people were pointing out that she seemed almost out of it and even dazed. It it startled one fan so much that they ended up commenting on one of her posts saying, wear yellow in your next video if you need help. The following video is what she posted next to her TikTok account. Obviously, this kind of freaks some people out, and like, the video could just be a coincidence. Her outfit choice could be a coincidence. But for the sake of this video, I want to dive into the speculation and theory surrounding her outfit choice in this TikTok. 
Almost immediately after posting it, people started freaking out because she was in the color yellow and they were saying that she was almost modeling the fact that she was in this yellow shirt and using the bouquet to like point out the fact that she was in yellow and overall was just acting like the whole subject matter of the TikTok wasn't the fact that she was dancing, but the fact that she was in a yellow shirt. What really gets me about this TikTok is the fact that it is the last thing that has been posted to her TikTok account, at least at time of recording this video. She hasn't posted anything since. And some people are saying that that is a statement within and of itself. That being said, the Free Britney movement story does not end there. And this is where things get like really, really conspiracy, like, really conspiracy. She posts two videos on her IGTV slash Instagram where people are saying that she's acting strange and having a strange demeanor. Not that she hasn't been acting strange on social media up until this point, but there are two videos on her Instagram that I really want to point out with two separate comments on them that I want to point out in specifics. The first one is on a video where she's dancing to the Billie Eilish song, Bury a Friend. Quote, my comments were deleted yesterday. The title is Need I Say More, with the thumbnail picture using an Illuminati sign hand gesture. The song Bury a Friend is written about the Illuminati. Need she say more? I don't think it has to do with the actual Illuminati, but she's using it as a message with like 1200 exclamation points. The second comment is on a video that Britney published a little while later, where she is dancing to the Rihanna song Never Ending. Quote, She's repeatedly trying to show the black dot on her hand, and it's not in any other of her videos. I don't know, something isn't right. She's doing everything people are saying to do if she's in trouble. Now again, this could all be a coincidence, okay? Like all conspiracies, there's going to be some things where you're like, that seems a bit of a reach. But that doesn't change the fact that she's posting these videos and acting really strange in front of fans in the days leading up to her most recent court hearing on the conservatorship. It happened on July 22nd, and we will get to that momentarily. But the plot continues to thicken when we find out that Britney is allegedly making moves behind the scenes in the days leading up to the court hearing as well. Specifically, according to an inside source in Entertainment Tonight, Britney has asked her mother, Lynn Spears, to join the conservatorship in the hope that this will bring Britney some sort of financial autonomy if both her mother and father were on the conservatorship. I'm not 100% sure if that's what they're talking about within this recent court hearing, but if that is true, Guys, so the court hearing happened on Wednesday, July 22nd, which was earlier this week as you're watching this video. This video goes live on the 24th. At time of filming, it is Monday, July 20th at like 10.30 in the morning. That said, I'm going to hop a couple days into the future and we are going to talk about what happened in that court hearing. Okay guys, so it is currently Wednesday night and I have a few interesting updates for you guys regarding the court hearing on Britney's conservatorship. The first being that Britney wasn't actually in attendance to today's court hearing. Yeah, you heard me right. She wasn't there. Now today's conservatorship hearing was supposed to be held virtually, where every involved party was supposed to join via conference call. Writers of TheBlast.com were able to gain access to the minutes from this court hearing, which listed out every individual who was in attendance. However, Britney was not on that list of names. In accordance to this article, it is because Britney was having technical difficulties. But I did find that it was a little bit interesting seeing how she's the one within this conservatorship and she was not there. Also, according to the same article, Jamie has asked that the court block any public view of the case moving forward. This means a couple of different things in specifics. The first being that today's court hearing was blocked for media view. The second is that Britney's fans and supporters of the Free Britney movement were not allowed into the court today, even though they have been able to join in previous court hearings on the conservatorship. This, of course, means one thing in particular. The results of today's conservatorship hearing are going to be held confidential until further notice. Now that being said, guys, the circumstances surrounding the Free Britney movement are obviously still ongoing. I will keep you updated with any information that I get moving forward, but for now, that is all I have on the Free Britney movement which means that that is it for today's video. If you made it all the way here to the end and liked what you saw, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Also, make sure you comment down below letting me know your theories on the Free Britney movement. I would love to open up a discussion about it down below. 
And with that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching. My name is Courtney. I run a paranormal slash horror channel here on YouTube. I like to create content surrounding paranormal investigations, telling creepy stories, playing paranormal games, talking about conspiracy theories, and really just anything and everything that has to do with the scary, creepy, and spooky. So if those are topics you're interested in seeing more of, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell so you are notified every single time that I upload. And with that said, I'll see you all next week for another new video. Bye.